Hey guys, Natasha with the Do With Ethel vlog. Suzanne Halliday, you are a freaking rock star. After Midnight is one of those stories that is, you know, I've read somebody else has already said it too. It's the beauty meets the beast. But the beast is more than that. The beast is this sexy man that just kind of knows that he wants to change. He just needs the right direction to do it. So what does he do? Lorelai Midnight, John Weston have their story. After Midnight is, it's sexy, it's sweet, it's Alfred. And let me tell you what Alfred is. John is an alpha, Lorelai or Lola is an alpha. And she may be younger, but she's an old soul. She lives life carefree, dancing in the rain, looking at the rainbows. That is Lorelai. She lives in the moment and she knows what she wants. And she's not afraid to say what she wants. It's to get the right person to give her those needs. And it's John Weston. And let me tell you, John captivates you on every chapter you read about him because you just, you crave more. Because you love how he, in his mind, he's questioning like, okay, am I going to do this? Should I be doing this? But then his heart takes over and it's like, I need Lorelai. I need that spirit in my soul. And Lorelai, yes, she's carefree, but she's grounded. And you, you know, yeah, she's in her early twenties, but who gives a crap? Because this girl, she knows what she wants. She says what she wants and she does it without like having to second guess anything else. She's like, I'm going to go do this. Don't worry. I can handle myself guys. I'm, I'm who I am because of what I do. And that's, what's fun. People, you know, think, oh yeah, she's, you know, a princess because she's been given things, but she works hard. And she does it with the right purpose and stuff. Her best friend Don's getting married and he, he she's marrying like the sweetest man ever. But then it's also John Weston's best friend. And so it's fun to see King and Don in the story and kind of push and pull Lorelai and John because you just at times, you know, King is being very protective of her Lorelai, but then so is Don. But then they see these two together and, you know, and kind of King even pushes and like, dude, you're falling in love. And John's like, hey, time out here, dude. That's, we're not doing that yet. We're just enjoying each other's company. And she's helping me with my makeover. And it's so fun. You laugh and you swoon. And then there's just the times when, you know, they're in the shower and he wants to just go total caveman on her, but he doesn't. He just takes a step back and he enjoys the moment. And it's, it's fun to watch these two balance each other out and you're rooting for them. And then come on, you've got to love the whole crew of this series because you get, you know, I really, could, I really, really, really hope we get every single character in the story because let me tell you, Dottie is my hero. That girl is my superhero and I want, I want and love her and I want more of her and I keep saying that, but it's fun. But that's what's fun about it is this whole, you know, um, Nightwind series is that you get everybody involved and you get to see all sides of the coin and you just you want and crave more but these two oh my gosh they they are burning up the sheets in this story let me highlight tell you some of the things that I love John Weston um, she says this is a, you are my person John Weston I'm here for you no matter what and it says um it's in those dreams, you know, he's watching her and she's dancing in the rain that it captivates him. And he's just so drawn at her carefree spirit. And, you know, and, and it's fun and it's enjoyable to see this ro this romance blossom. So, guys, it's in it. This is for real. Go get it. This is After Midnight. It's Suzanne Halliday. Bye.